welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're going to be doing a little sneak peek of one of our new sets that's set to release on September 16th called Teeny Tiny Backdrops. And uh, we're actually showcasing it today on the blog and giving it away today on the blog lawnfawn.blogspot.com. You still have a chance to enter the, the two previous giveaways too, so there's lots of things to win. So make sure you head on over to the blog to enter to win and see the amazing design team samples. But today I want to just talk to you a little bit about this set. Um, Teeny Tiny Backdrops is our take on back background stamps. Um, we're calling them backdrops, kind of almost like in theater. And, uh, and it's kind of our take on polka dots. So we have tiny stars, tiny hearts, and tiny music notes. Um, it's super whimsical, super fun, and there's a lot you can do with it. But one of the most exciting things about this stamp set is we made it long enough to fit the front of a standard size card. So standard size card is when you take your 8.5 by 11 cardstock and you cut it in half, and so your card ends and then, and then fold it in half. Your card ends up being four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, many of the background, background creating stamps out there don't cover, they only cover the four and a quarter part, they don't cover the full five and a half. So you end up having to stamp here and then stamp again. And when I stamp again, personally, that's where I make my mistakes. And so I thought when we're gonna, when we created backdrop stamps, that we're gonna create one that fits the entire front of the card. So these are large stamps um, and you're getting three different designs. It's really exciting. So I'm just gonna show you right here with this stamp. You can see it's well loved already. It, I've used so much ink on it, it's already uh, <laughs> it's already got the pink permanently on there, um, but these little hearts, you can see how they cover the front of this, this, this card perfectly. And the great thing is, is you can still continue the pattern on the side, which means you can use it on a lay on a 12 by 12 layout. Um, and Tiffany did that today. You can see the example on the blog. So you can still continue the, pro the, the pattern on the side, but you don't have to on the standard size card. This makes it really easy to make fast cards. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna make a super fast card. So I'm gonna use some, this is Berry Sorbet ink by Paper Trink. I don't think they have their inks anymore, but I like this berry sorbet color a lot, so I still use it. And I've got a scratch paper underneath because since this is long enough to cover the front of a card, it's gonna that means you're gonna stamp on the outside. So you wanna have a scratch paper to catch your your extra ink. That way you don't ink your whole desk up. So I'm just gonna ink this up again. And you can see right there how that's turning out. I'm just going to stand up. That way I can line this up, but still give you guys uh, a view without my hair in it. So you can see how easy it is to line up. And when you do it, you want to make sure you put pressure on the outsides and the middle, because this is a very long stamp. And uh, so when I first got them, I said, oh gosh, okay, I have to remember, pressure all around. Because we do want to make sure that it covers the whole card. And you can see how fast this goes. So you just line it up. And like I said, they're whimsical hearts, so you don't even have to worry about the perfect, perfect look. But one thing you can always do, if you were concerned, you know, oh gosh, the, the outsides didn't line up perfectly, you can always trim off the sides to make it look the way you'd like, but it should work out pretty well for you. So right now we're just doing the top, and that's it, we covered a whole front of a card that quickly. So I'm just gonna show you how to make a really quick card. I'm talking quick, like, you forgot someone's birthday and they're coming over and you better have a card for them kind of quick. So um, right now I'm going to use some Japanese washi tape. Um, and this is, uh, this is kind of like a masking tape with printed stuff on them. I got this from the Trendy store. And, uh, and you just put them on just like this and they stick just like masking tape. So, and they rip too, which is really nice. And I just like to, once I have it, I take it, just go around the side like that. I'm gonna use this blue polka dotted one too because I think the polka dot with the lines is pretty fun. So I'm gonna overlap them slightly. Just make sure it lines up. Rip this and have it go around the inside of the card. And I've got this nice little background here. And now I've put together, um, this is just some Dear Lizzie American Crafts um, from the Spring Line, little paper flowers and a brad that found on clearance that I thought was so cute by Kane Company. And I'm just gonna put that right in the middle of the washi tape. It's got a glue, one of those big giant glue dot zot 
dot things on it. <laughs> so that's there. And then all this card needs is a sentiment, which I'm gonna do um, in a brown ink. And I have a thank you. Um, it was my birthday and I had a lot of wonderful gifts and wonderful cards from friends. So I wanna make sure I say thank you to all of them. So I'm just making a quick thank you card here. And the last thing that I would do is I'm gonna use my We Are Memory Keepers uh, Corner Chomper. And I just like rounded edges. I think it gives, it kind of finishes things off. Especially when you go, oh gosh, what should I do next? Round the edges. That's what I do when I don't know what to do. It also keeps you from putting too much stuff on the card. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, okay. But you can see how easy this thing is to use. And that is a super quick, super simple, but super quick card that you could hand out um, if you need it. Okay, so now we're looking at um, a tall size card, meaning your four and a quarter is on the side and your five and a half is this way. And these stamps work just the same way for that. So right now I wanna show you how to do kind of a more subtle pattern with these stamps um, by using distress inks as opposed to using a bright pink. So I'm using scattered straw and I'm just inking up my stamp and you're gonna see how, much, how easy it is to line up on the four and a quarter. These stamps work just the same way for th that size as they do for the other size. So once again, you're gonna need your scratch paper because it, the, the hearts are gonna go on the outside, but that's what makes it easy to line up. So the scratch paper is worth it. And you can see how quickly I'm doing this. These patterns are perfect for dressing up die cuts, like die cut flowers and hearts and all sorts of different things, different embellishments that you might have that you just wanna make a little different. Um, there's just so many things that you can do with these. Uh, and you saw uh, Lisa made her pumpkins with them. Um, and she just added that subtle pattern to the pumpkins that really made a difference on the orange felt with the stars. So there's so much that you can do. Make sure you check out the blog for lots of inspiration. And you can see how quickly I'm just stamping this. And just going along. And then at the top there, just need a little bit of the edge of the hearts. So I'm just going to ink it up and then just put my little edge right there. And now we have a fully covered card. And what's really fun about this is that we can combine a, um, a fun and whimsical stamp like these hearts with the Distress ink that's so popular right now. So what I'm gonna do is take some antique linen ink and the world's dirtiest ink foam pad. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's embarrassing, okay. And uh, I'm just gonna take the ink and just bring it on and and uh, my antique linen probably needs a little re-inking, but it's just giving a nice distressed look to these hearts. And it's really fun to combine these two different trends, the whimsical with the distress. So I'm just doing this super quickly, just to show how easy it is to have a card base that's ready for anything that you wanna put on it. This would be perfect for fall, so you could put the pumpkin or cornucopia from um, harvest season on it, um, on a die cut, and, uh, and the sentiment underneath it, and you'd be set to go. Just, I love being able to have, especially this kind of stuff where you could just make a card quickly if you needed it. And then all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a darker ink, the vintage photo, and we've got my vintage photo one. And sometimes I don't even ink it up because the ink just stays on the vintage photo. And I'm just going around the edges like this just to give the edge some definition and some a little bit of that distressed look. And I'm just flicking it across the paper. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can use a makeup sponge and that works really well. Um, on the on the background that I did for Hero Arts for the fall card on, on last Tuesday, I actually used a makeup sponge because I thought it worked better for the technique that I did. So, and those makeup sponges you can find super cheap at the dollar store or CVS or Walgreens, one of those kinds of places. So you can see now um, this great subtle background that we have going that's ready for you to add your die cuts, um, your embellishments, anything that you might have. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and make sure to stop by the blog for a chance to win. Bye.